Welcome to Chemistry Tutorial 360. Today we are going to draw the Lewis structure for H2S, right? That is dihydrogen sulfide. Okay, to draw the Lewis structure, at first we have to count the valence electron of sulfur and hydrogen, right? Okay, look at here. Let me first find out the valence electron of sulfur. This is the electronic configuration of sulfur and here the maximum value of principal quantum number is 3 right that is the outermost cell is here is 3 we know that the electrons in outermost cell is called valence electron so when for n equal to 3 we have 2 plus 4 that is 6 valence electron for sulfur right in case of hydrogen we know that the atomic number of hydrogen is 1 and if you do electronic configuration then you will get this here the outmore, outermost cell is 1s1 that is 1s that is we are getting just only valence electron right okay here is the alternative way to find out the valence electron for sulfur and hydrogen look at here the group number tells us the number of valence uh, electrons for the element look at here in uh, for hydrogen hydrogen is a element of group 1a or 1 that is why the valence electron of hydrogen is 1 on the other hand the group number of sulfur is 6a that is the valence uh, electrons will be 6 or 16 in case of 16 you have to delete the first digit then you will get the uh, valence electron that is in H2S molecule, you are getting, uh, we have one sulfur atom, so we are getting six valence electron, and here we have two hydrogen atom. One hydrogen atom will have one valence electron, and two will have two. That is, if you, uh, if you add, then you are getting totally, you are getting eight valence electron for a hydrogen sulfide. Now, in the second step, will determine the center uh, central atom in hydrogen sulfide you know that hydrogen is always cons considered as the outer atom so here sulfur is the center atom right right in the third step what will i do i will connect center atom with outer atom by single bond so sulfur will be attached to hydrogen bond two hydrogen with two two bond single line means two valence electron look at here in this structure we have used two plus two that is four valency electrons but totally we have eight and here we, we are using here two plus four so we have four left right and in the fourth step in the fourth fourth step I will use this four valence electron to satisfy the octet for sulfur right so look at here here uh, will satisfy uh, we will use this four valency electron to satisfy the octet for sulfur look at here uh, we have used this uh, four valence electron and now count that sulfur has eight valence electron two 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 that is eight valence electron and do it for every hydrogen right so or, or we can write this structure like this hydrogen well two valence electron sulfur two valence electron hydrogen lone pair over the over the sulfur we have two lone pairs right so this is the lewis structure this or this this is the lewis structure of uh, hydrogen sulfide right now let me show the formal charge for for hydrogen sulfide right look at here for formal charge uh, we can use 
so we can use th uh, this formula or this formula look at here formal charge equal to valence electrons minus uh, dot attached to uh, attached to that atom minus lines attached to the atom look at here for this hydrogen the valence electrons oh, from the electronic configuration we get one and the dot attached to this hydrogen is zero and then uh, uh, lines the lines attached to this hydrogen is one so minus one so basically you are getting zero so the uh, formal charge for this hydrogen is zero that is look at here so zero right so this this hydrogen and this hydrogen is very similar so the formal charge of this hydrogen will also be zero now count the uh, formal charge for sulfur right look at here we have to take the valence electron first so sulfur has six valent electron minus dots over sulfur we have four dots minus lines with sulfur we have two lines so 6 minus 4 minus 2 so 0 so the formal charge of sulfur will be 0 as you know that hydrogen sulfide molecule is neutral so uh, from the formal charge we can prove this right okay to find out formal charge you can also use this uh, equation so uh, thus you will get the same result right so try this uh, try to find out the formal charge by this equation right and i think you will be able to get the answer so thank you for viewing this video be well and i have a special blog post on these things you will get that blog post in the description box of this video